Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another issue of the Trek Collector and on my desk this time is Star Trek The Discovery Collection, the Class C Shuttlecraft, issue 19. Now, before we take a look at the lovely model herself, and wow, it's big, let's have a little quick nosy through, through, through the magazine. So, nice little uh, graphic there of the Shuttlecraft itself. Um, nice, 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 nice. Designing the, the Class C shuttle. This one's really, really funky. It's really kind of like TOS. I could get the TOS vibe off that one, but yeah, cool. We love these concept kind of doodles. Well, maybe, maybe some of us don't. I know the design reef was a 12 person shuttlecraft. So obviously somewhere maybe in the script or something like that, they knew that they needed 12 people aboard a shuttlecraft and it's just the, the exterior and the one thing that i do actually have to say liking about this shuttlecraft and the design is we have our docking ports or uh, on the ships itself we see it in the nx01 um we didn't really see one on the tos enterprise but there was one on the refit and i just do think it's cool that like if we look at the back of the ship here We've got that docking ring that, like, you know, the ship can go in and dock in at one of those ports and use the door. So it doesn't necessarily have to use a shuttle bay, which is really, really cool. Now, fantastic detail, fantastic colouring here. Um, lovely, lovely back, probably the impulse section. Um, I know that was the case probably with the Goddard shuttles and so forth like that. And let's have a little look at our warp nacelles. Really cool. And kind of the cool thing about this one is if we look at this ship just uh the scraping and the damage you know what i mean like it's it's flying like getting a good old joyride and spin through space and um, not like the clean and crisp shuttlecraft that we were used to seeing in star trek the next generation or even on tos and um, the shuttles always seemed immaculate but yeah they, they've gotten some nasty weather and to consider as well that Discovery was only brand new. This shuttle has literally had a few scrapes and dents. Um, definitely no Tom Paris flying this space shuttle, that's for sure. So anyway, there's a nice bit of weight in this. I have to say, top heavy here. So this is kind of all die cast um, to this back section. So this is where it kind of gets funky. Kind of like a very heavy plastic here um, and kind of like a plastic surround um the nacelles feel kind of die cast but with plastic here again there's a case in there of die cast on the outside and we have our plastic covering there and die cast here but there's a nice bit of weight this is actually a really really cool chunky big shuttlecraft um really really nice everything's crisp on it I don't know, like, um, what do you guys think? Do you like your ships kind of like fresh out of space dock? Or do you like the kind of weathering damage scuff marks on your ship? And um, what kind of ship kind of guy are you like? Is it like, for me now, I've always been one for um, space dock. I just like that fresh kind of feel. But it's different. It's nice. Um, overall, it's, it's, it's really cool. And like, as I said, like, great detail back here. Um... Like, it's little landing pods there. And let's take a look at her as she sits on her stand, which is a very thing. And nice and sturdy. So this is a big, big beast. Um, Really nice. I was actually waiting for this one for quite a while. I'm delighted it's finally here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my review in less than five minutes on the Discovery Type-C Shuttlecraft. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, until the next review, slang of all, and be good. Take care.